Hello, how are you today? I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? Great. My name is student Dr. Leonardo Zayas Pizan, and I'm here in behalf of uh, Dr. Hill. I'm going to ask you a couple questions, and uh, we're going to figure out you know, what's uh, going on today. Okay? Sound Sounds good? Perfect. Thank and you. And what is your name? F.A. Osterk. Mr. Osterk, pleasure to meet you. Okay. Now, uh, quick question. Is this your first visit, or? Yes. Your first visit. Okay, so you're a new patient. Excellent. Okay. So, let's go ahead and get started, okay? So, what brings you in today? Uh, I went to the nail, sal um, the nail salon with my uh, with my girlfriend, and we went to get the manicure pedicure done. But I noticed that after a couple of weeks, um, you know, they cut my nails. I've been getting this throbbing, uh, throbbing pain in the uh, in the big toe over there. It's been red, and it's been really bothering me, doctor. Okay. And you said what? When did the pain begin? Uh, about uh, I'd say about two weeks ago. Okay, two weeks ago. Weeks. And uh, can you show me exactly where it hurts? Like, where does it hurt? Right the in most? the big toe, right there. Right there. Yep. Okay. So that, that hurts. Yep. Okay. All right. And how long has this been going on for? Uh, total, total about two, two and a half weeks. Two, two and a half weeks. Okay. And uh, what type of pain is it? Is it sharp? Is it dull? Is it throbbing? Throbbing pain. Throbbing. Um, did you take anything at all to make the pain feel any better? Just some Advil. Some Advil. That's okay. it. And did that help? Um, just a little bit, but it, it kept coming back. Okay. Was there anything that made it worse, like walking or...? Uh, walking makes it worse because it's, it's a little swollen, but that's about it. Okay. Does the pain uh, radiate anywhere, or does it stay localized there? It's local. Local. So, um, if you were to describe the pain for me, 10 being the worst pain you have ever felt, and one being uh, not so much, you know, just barely anything, what would you say? I'd say about a four. A four, okay, so four. Okay, and uh, is the pain constant, or does it happen during the night, or during the morning? It's, it's constant pain. It's just constant pain. All right, okay. So now we're gonna ask a little bit about your past medical history, okay? And uh, have you ever been hospitalized before? No. No. Okay. And do you have any pre-existing illnesses, uh, diabetes or anything? No. Nothing. Excellent. Uh, are you current with your immunizations? Yes. Perfect. Do you currently take any medications? No, except for that Advil that I took. Okay, so just the Advil. Do you take any medications from your family? Do you take any uh, supplements or anything like that? No. No? Okay. Cool. Uh, are you allergic to anything? No. Excellent. Okay. Uh, have you had any blood transfusions in the past? No. Okay. And uh, any history of emotional problems, depression, or no. anxiety? No. Now, we're gonna ask some questions about your past surgical history. Have you had any surgeries in the past? No. Okay. Good. Now, some questions about your family. Um, have, has your family had a, any history of diabetes, hypertension, cancer, kidney disease, or heart disease? No. Okay. Any other disorders that I should know about? Congenital diseases? No. And we have a list of your medications, which you do not take. Excellent. Uh, no allergies. Um, okay, so everything's good. So now let me ask you a, a little bit about your social history, okay? So how are your sleeping habits? Good. Good? You sleep well? Yes. Okay, excellent. Uh, do you, uh, are you sexually active? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Uh, do you smoke at all? No. No? So no cigarette use. Um, what type of work do you do? I am a student at Barry University. Okay, perfect. And what are you studying? Uh, podiatry. Oh, actually. great, great. It's a great field. So, um, okay, and do you exercise regularly? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Is that every day? 
Um, Multiple times a day, just once a day? Three times a week. Three times a week, okay, perfect. Cool. So, do you have any pets? Uh, just one, um, one dog. One dog. Excellent. I love dogs. <laughs> I have one myself, so. Um, what is your diet like? Um, typical, you know, I eat my leafy greens, um, cereal in the mornings, get my meats in there too. Perfect. Um, do you drink any alcohol? Socially. Socially? Okay. Yeah. And when you say socially, you have one drink, two drinks when you go out? Yeah, one or two, maybe every couple of months. Nothing major. Perfect. Okay. Um, do you do any illicit drug substances, and that, that includes marijuana? No. Okay. Are you married, single, or divorced? Um, just have a girlfriend. So. Okay. So in a relationship? Yeah. Okay. And uh, have you recently traveled? Uh, no. No. Okay. Perfect. So, now we're going to do an examination and we're going to see what's going on, okay? So the first part of examination is going to be the vascular exam. And uh, this is going to tell me if you have any issues with your circulation, okay? So, first I'm going to check the dorsalis pedis pulse, okay? So these, these are the pulses on your feet, okay? And both pulses, the dorsalis pedis and the posterior tibial pulse, are two out of four, so that's perfectly normal. Uh, I'm gonna check also for your popliteal pulse, so it's good to go ahead and do that. Okay. Okay, and that's normal, two out of four as well. Uh, I'm gonna check for hydration on the skin, okay? This is called skin turgor. So the way that we do that is by getting an area and we pinch it and we wait to see if it goes right back. We could do that in several areas here and we can see that it goes right back, okay? And that's for elasticity and skin turgor, okay? Uh, next, we're gonna go ahead and check your temperature. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just with the back of my hands, I'm gonna scroll down all the way distally, and you can see it goes from warm to warm, so that's absolutely normal. And the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check something called the capillary refill time, okay? And that should be about three seconds. So we're gonna press down on the toe, and we're gonna let go. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, and that's about three seconds on the right leg. I'm gonna test the same thing on the left. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Perfect. So everything in the vascular exam seems normal, unremarkable, and uh, we're gonna move on to the derm part of the exam, okay? So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna scroll my hands down and I'm gonna feel for any uh, lesions and ulcerations, any uh, papules, uh, macular lesions, anything like this, okay? Sounds good, thank you. So, you just scroll your hands down, as so, I'm trying to feel for anything. There's nothing. We're gonna go ahead and check the back as well. Be sure to do this on both legs. Look for yourself to see if you see anything. And that's perfectly normal here. Uh, the skin uh, has normal skin tone. There's no pallor, there's no redness. Uh, as far as the, the legs, um, as I, I scroll down, I see a little bit of, uh, of callus on the feet. Um, also, seems to have some uh, erythema and a uh, little bit of exudate here, a little bit of like purulent discharge right here on the hallux proximal to the nail bed, and that's probably from where he says that he got uh, his injury, he received his injury. And uh, next, we're gonna look at each toe in between, checking for macerations. And it appears this one's normal. It's normal. Okay, so 
Uh, I think everything is good here. Let me check your toenails just in case. Your toenails look fine. They don't look enlarged or uh, hyperkeratotic or any sort of fungus, tinea pedis, nothing. So everything in the derm except for the uh, laceration here or the peronychia, what it seems to be on the right hallux. Next, we're going to do the muscular skeletal portion of the exam, and that is basically going to check your uh, extensors and your flexors and your everters and your inverters, okay? So I'm just going to ask for you to push down, okay? Now push up, perfect. Push to the sides as hard as you can, perfect. Push inward as hard as you can, perfect. So everything muscular skeletal wise, um, perfectly normal. Uh, his extensors are working fine, flexors are working perfectly, everters and inverters are working perfectly. And uh, the last thing we're gonna do is the silver skyoid test, which will determine if uh, they have a gastroxoleus equinus or uh, any other issues that's going on here. So what we do is we try to put the foot in a neutral position, so as so, and then we move upwards, and that's about 10 degrees, so that's normal. Then we do that with the leg flexed, the same thing, and that's about normal there. Last one here, the same thing, with the leg extended, I'm gonna push upwards, that seems normal. Then we're gonna do it flexed, put it in neutral position, and normal. And that concludes the physical portion of the exam. Um, I'm going to report my findings to Dr. Hill, and uh, she should come see you shortly. Thank you. Thank you.